Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 at Santa's Village and today I'd like to build a sleigh for Santa and I think the best place to build that would be next to the tree and next to the grotto so that any visitors get to see the sleigh. Now I haven't actually firmly planned out how to build this so this could be interesting. I think the best way to start is with some quartz. Let me show you which materials I think I'm going to want. The quartz slab, the quartz stairs, iron bars, red concrete to build the base of the sleigh and then some wall colours to make assorted presents to go inside the sleigh. Let's build three in from the wall and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's use the stair. Oops, can we make that to go like this? The stair like so. And then, so we've got like the front of the ski sleds right here. And then on the opposite side, I'd like to come one, two, three, four, five away and repeat what we've already done. So with the slab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven then use the stair to lift it and use a slab again across there so that's the very front of the sleigh now across the front where we've got this upright i want to go across with iron oop, go across the front with the iron bars right above where the stair slab is like so, so that we've got like a grill at the front of the sleigh. And of course we want a hook point to attach the reindeer for the reins to the front of the sleigh. So we want a little like support structure at the front. Of course the way the um, bars work, you don't have like a hook thing, but you would tie the reins to the front mm. here like so. So you imagine it being attached there and then the reins can come through the gap that is lower at the front for Santa to drive the sleigh with. Then next, what we will, oh no, what we do need to bring up supports for the sle uh, sled itself to sit on. So I'd like to bring up the first block right next to the um, stair block and the one just one in from the back to be full blocks so we just add another half slab on top of those and then on top of that we can fit our red concrete so we build ourselves a big structure we want it to go one further up across from the back of the sleigh and form ourselves a little box right to the front and bring that across and of course the reins the um, bars will of course attach to that that's not a problem so this is going to be the front so we want to put one block right behind where the bars are attached there so that the the bars have a support point on the sleigh in fact we'll bring one in here and one in here so they've still got the gap for the sleigh reins and everything is attached to the sleigh so it looks like it's not just going to get pulled off when the uh, reindeer start pulling at the sleigh we want to want space to get Santa f to get in and out of the sleigh so we'll leave a block spare at the very front and what we do is we come down the side leaving one block at the front and then come all the way to the back like so and then I want to extend one block further on that row so it extends a little bit back so you like so so there's a little bit of shape in this bit Is that okay like that? In fact, I think I'm going to do that all the way around so it looks a little bit more boat shaped. And give it a little bit more space. So what we'll have then is two blocks coming out here along. Got ourselves a little corner. Oh, no, we want that corner there. And then we're going to remove those there and go along here like this. So we're getting ourselves a little shape right now we're going to want a base in the bottom of the sleigh so let's fill all this in with the red 
and now we want to actually fill our little space shape for the sleigh. All right, here we go, like so. Now Santa's going to need somewhere to sit, so I think what we do is we make a little bench for Santa to sit on, like so, across the front. So between where we've got our two sides, we just fill it in with the half slabs and put a row of the red concrete just behind that, like so. That means we've got a little bit of space here to start putting presents in. And then we just bring everything up by one more row, like so, along the sides, like that. Oops, no, not that, just like this, like so. And across here, like that, and there, like so. Beautiful. And then at the back, we'll go up by one more right here, and just across the sides to there. And we will stop there and fill in. So that's our final shape. So from the front, it looks like this. From the side. And from the back. We could also add another lip just out back there to just give it a little bit more three-dimensional shape, like so. We could even go up in the middle at the back to make it look bigger, like that. One block in from the sides. I like that. That's good. I like that. And then this whole back space here, we want to fill in some presents. Now, if they go too far down at the back, people aren't going to see them. So we, we don't necessarily need to fill in everywhere. We could just ignore it, you see. We could just... You can ignore the bottom because nobody's going to see it. So what I'm just going to do is fill in a layer here, just to make sure that nothing can spawn inside it. But of course, you could just leave a couple of layers blank and maybe just put a light in to make sure nothing... Uh, Oh, no, that's, no, we don't want to do that. Just put one layer in because then we can start building up present layers, can't we? Right, so let's use the different colours. So let's use some pink here and another one here and maybe on those big presents over in the corner. Let's swap to the yellow. Let's add a big yellow present there. A double up here. And a couple across this way, like this. Let's go to the green. Be a big, tall present there. A double there. A single here. And a single here. And let's we'll go back to the blue, which is this number here. Right, and let's put another double here. Let's make it a two like that. And then a little one. And let's go to, let's use the, da, 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 da. shall we use a different colour? Let's go for some more wool. Let's grab a purple. And let's grab an orange. So let's put a double orange here. And a big purple one over here. That is quite square, actually, doesn't it? Maybe I should adjust the layers a little bit. So if I take out, put a purple in at the back there, leave a gap. Leave a gap here, perhaps, and put a, um, let's use the orange, shall we? Let's make this a double up. Just want to adjust the layers a little bit and put a, another purple one just on top and a yellow one on top there just don't want it to look completely flat you see I want it to look like it's well packed but but a little bit jumbly yep I like that there we go we've got our Santa's sleigh let's take a screenshot of that And of course, the Santa sleigh wouldn't be complete without some reindeer. Though we don't actually have any proper reindeer, I think what we could do is grab some 
screw sword and have a go at trying to make a sort of reindeer. So let's grab gates and fences and planks and stairs. Let's try that. Now this may work or it may not. You might like it, you might hate it. Let's have a go. Let's have a go at a couple of different designs of reindeer. I mean, they're not going to look perfect because we've got planks, but let's let's try let's try a biggish reindeer here first. Let's grab the planks and put two. Leave a gap of one and put two more. Fill the gap in the middle here. Grab the stairs. Put that facing forward like so, and then upside the down on the side and let's put a is that too tall that's too tall let's put the that there on the front yep that looks better and then let's grab the spruce fence and then on the side you see you can get antlers and if you don't think they're big enough you could put up on the side that looks a bit like handlebars but you could also make them bigger so you can make them absolutely enormous mm. more like a moose I know it does it's not mm, it's not very reindeer is it but it sort of looks a bit like a reindeer let's see let's try a slightly different version shall we and if you've got any better ideas of how to make reindeer please let us know in the comments because mm. um, I've been thinking about it for a while and I just can't figure anything too great right put a couple of gates and then put a couple of planks. Oops, I'm gonna put the plank. Oh, I can't put the planks on top. Put the planks on top of the fences and open the fences so they kind of look like feet. And then put a head on the side. It's not very head like, is it? But let's use the stairs. Let's try the stairs for a little head, like so. And then put the fence on the side no see that doesn't that doesn't connect no a little plank oh, it doesn't look like a little reindeer but this is the best I could come up with they don't really look like reindeer but they're that's the best I could come up with really it's not very not very good um, but that was my idea for for a reindeer that's the best I can come up with at the moment because everything's so blocky unless you make it much much bigger than this it's really really hard to get the shape which is why I put the llamas in the pen over here because I couldn't mm. figure out a way to make a reindeer look beautiful but that's the best that I can come up with to make tiny little reindeer if you can come up with something better mm. let us know uh, but the sleigh I think has worked out really really well hope you've enjoyed today's episode Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and that will be the end I think of our Christmas build for 2018. Hope you've enjoyed it and a Merry Christmas to you all. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!